October 28, 2016, just 11 days before the presidential election, FBI Director James Comey reveals that he is re-examining Hillary Clinton's emails. Months earlier, Comey had decided not to recommend criminal charges. But the move to take another look so close to Election Day was in response to thousands of emails found on disgraced former Congressman Anthony Weiner's server in a separate investigation. Comey wrote to Congress, the FBI has learned of the existence of emails that appear to be pertinent to the investigation. I'm confident whatever they are will not change the conclusion reached in July. Therefore, it's imperative that the Bureau explain this issue in question, whatever it is, without any delay. Director Comey dropped this bombshell despite the Justice Department and FBI's longstanding practice of not commenting publicly on politically sensitive investigations within 60 days of an election. Comey later explained in a letter to FBI employees why he felt the need to share. I feel an obligation to do so given that I testified repeatedly in recent months that our investigation was completed. I also think it would be misleading to the American people were we not to supplement the record. But that's not the whole story. Turns out that same month, the FBI was also investigating Russia's meddling in the presidential election. Intelligence officials were looking at possible ties between Russia and Donald Trump's campaign. But none of that was ever made public in the lead up to Election Day. Only the renewed investigation into Clinton's emails. There is a very clear and extremely troubling double standard in Director Comey's actions that the director owes the American public and Congress a clear explanation of why there is a double standard. Long after the election, in January this year, Comey testified before the Senate Intelligence Committee. When asked whether the FBI was investigating connections between the Russian government and the Trump team, he would only say, we never confirm or deny a pending investigation. I didn't say one way or another. You didn't say that there was That was my one, intention, at least. You didn't say one way or another whether even there's an investigation underway. Correct. Comey emphasized that the investigation into Clinton's emails had been closed already and was no longer pending or open when he spoke about it days before voters went to the polls. And now, with Donald Trump's latest suggestion that President Obama had his Trump Tower phones wiretapped during the campaign, the FBI director is back in the headlines. Comey was apparently incredulous over Trump's wiretap claims and asked his staff to reach out to the Justice Department to knock down the allegation. Long known for his bipartisan fairness, James Comey is certainly in a tangle with both sides. Randy Kay, CNN, New York.